Hey guys, so uh, I just wanted to do a quick little video here checking out the official Android 5.0.2 update for the Galaxy Grand Prime. Uh, and I haven't forgotten about this device, it has been one of my favourite uh, budget devices here from Samsung. Uh, it's a very fast uh, device here which has been made uh, that little bit more better here with the official update. As you can see we are now coming with the Lollipop interface. Uh, no multi-user though, unfortunately, like a lot of other Samsung devices, but uh, you know, I don't think Samsung's really focusing on that at the moment. Uh, you can see here in the settings, if we have a look at the about device, uh, is 5.0.2, and uh, you can actually get this from Sam uh, Mobile. You will need to sign up for an account and download Odin as well, uh, and then flash it on, or you'll be waiting quite a while, I think, uh, to get it through the air uh, kind of update. Uh, in terms of what it brings to the table, you can see uh, in general here, uh, I have uh, basically put on this uh, Galaxy S6 wallpaper. I'm not sure if I actually got this wallpaper uh, like before, uh, or whether it came with the actual update. It did just some somewhat appear here. You can see these two uh, uh, wallpapers here. So. I have just selected them here as both of them. I think it makes it look a little bit more up to date really. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed that Samsung didn't put the most up to date TouchWiz on there. You can see we still have a slightly older version of TouchWiz in terms of the icons as well as the transitions here. Uh, but uh, it does feel a lot better than the uh, KitKat running uh, kind of software it was on before which was starting to get very stale. Uh, it was fast nevertheless though, you know, it was, could keep up with a lot of lollipop devices and uh, I have actually been looking around here to see uh, basically what uh, like the main changes are. So you can see we do have the lollipop multitasking here uh, so you can quickly get rid of things quite quick. Uh, we can have a look as well in the settings and see we do have uh, quite a few settings here so you do have your uh, your screen time sorry your uh, auto rotate screen here uh, as well as the brightness setting uh, interestingly enough there's no auto brightness on the uh, grand prime I'm sure there was before uh, maybe I am mistaken though thinking of another device uh, but what are these like, sensors here at the front are supposed to do, who knows, but uh, you can see uh, we do get control as well over the font style, which is quite good. And we do as well have a look here at the lock screen, so you can see anything here, uh, the unlock effect, so we do have stone skipping, uh, which is why I have it on now and you can see some others here I think I like that one a little bit more actually and we keep it on that one that is a nice clean one there and uh, if we go to the clock here you can see we do get uh, quite an old style clock not the latest TouchWiz clock I don't think and we have a look at the phone here because you can see we get a nice updated UI here so that is quite nice and I'm guessing that, that is the same as well for the messaging app and in terms of the actual speed you can see that uh, it feels just as snappy as uh, usual here Things uh, it doesn't really feel like a one gigabyte RAM device uh, with Snapdragon 410, it feels a lot faster if you ask me. Uh, however, the actual like official benchmark, I did do a quick little run of that, and you can see it is uh, coming. Whoa! Uh, I did actually do a benchmark here, and it seems to have got rid of the score. You might have seen it when I did the multitasking earlier. Uh, it actually got about 22,000 still, so I don't think it's a massive increase there when it comes to the Antutu. Uh, so don't uh, expect it here, but I'll probably do some like tests here of the speed against some comparable devices now that it is up to date uh, with the latest software if anyone's actually interested here. Uh, but so far, you know, I think uh, it's definitely given this nice lick of paint. You can see everything looks uh, a lot more up to date here. 
and uh, more attractive really Kit Kat was getting a bit stale I would like to see like uh, some of the uh, Samsung apps that are missing as well off the Grand Prime here you can see we don't get the uh, music app well, in fact do we no we don't I don't think you can see it's not uh, there anymore maybe you can get it from the Galaxy apps but uh, there's also uh, some other apps as well which might not uh, be there but uh, yeah, I think uh, you should definitely uh, get this on your device if you've got a Grand Prime. And uh, as I said, I will do some more videos on it, checking out the raw performance. So do stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.